guys, Scoob Long Way Back. I'm Aaron. I'm Calvin. Rick. I can't wait to keep watching the movie. Yeah, so we are here with our day three or four now of... Uh, <laughs> Depends when this comes out. DC, uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League. This mm -hmm. is part two, uh, where previously we've had some fun stuff with the Age of Heroes, seeing some history, Yep. Mm -hmm. seeing Batman trying to gather some team, and seeing Wonder Woman kick some ass. <sighs> Uh, Hell yeah. yeah. Been some pretty good stuff. So I'm excited to see what we have next for part three and Me too. going forward with the uh, with the movie. Yep. Yeah, we already saw Darkseid defeated. <laughs> we did, oh, but yeah. he wasn't dead, right? Yeah. He, he just passed he was, out from blood loss. He was wounded. Though, Maybe that's when the coup happened. It was interesting to see, like, like that Darkseid did not seem, like, as strong as, like, the last movie we watched with Darkseid in it, you know? How much that more powerful did he get? Yeah. 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 I know? didn't see no Omega Beams. Between the last few times, like, what's going to be the difference? And, yeah. like, are we going to see any kind of connections to more of, like, uh, Batman's dream sequence that he had where, like, the there were demons in there, yeah. there was, like, the giant Omega symbol and stuff, like... We got a little bit of Victor, but we haven't got any of Flash shit either. No Flash. No. There's been no. no. Well, maybe he was there, we just... He's too fast <gasps> to see. Uh. <laughs> oh, Central City. It's where Flash is, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. Reduce speed ahead. <laughs> that's also where I thought Central City would, or where Star Labs would be. I thought there'd be a right? connection there, but nope, that's not what they've done. Here. I'm so sorry, I'm late. Oh, no, he dropped his bird. Oh, oh, no. No, get it! Oh, God. Get it! Even save want the it. food! Oh. Save the food and eat it! I have, oh. I have been this desperate. Red light! Oh, hot dog man! Hot dog no, man! No! Wasted trying to save your burger! Fuck! Rolf. So glad we said we haven't had any berry yet. And then that a sesame seed. <laughs> Close up on that sesame shot. seed. Sweet! Dude, he ran out that of shoes. That was so he fucking even, cool. He didn't even run yet. The glass oh. tension. Whoa. Okay, I thought he was gonna phase, but he just... Yeah, I thought he was gonna phase too, but he just... Tech. Look at all the wieners! It's a little creepy, dude. Yeah, it they... is, but no one's gonna know. <laughs> he doesn't know that this. makes it more creepy. He doesn't know this girl, does he? Why is he looking at the wiener now? <laughs> 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 I had no idea where we were going. I didn't know what was gonna happen the there. The dogs are gonna like him now. So this wasn't in the other one? No! no. no. She Not wasn't in the other one. <laughs> Shit, he wasn't man. going that fast. Shit, I'll be freaking the fuck out. Oh my god, what? I'll definitely be freaking the fuck out now. Jeez, a hot dog cart. Dude, guy's like, I hope that guy goes for the hamburger again. <laughs> damn kids. For dog work. Foot long. Who's got the foot long? Lack of shoes makes him feel more calm. Oh, good. Whoa, shit. What the? Where is it? No son or daughter of Atlantis will ever tell you. Oh, Jesus. Whoa, what's that? Did that come from a suit? Oh, my God. I never betrayed my own people. What the hell? Is it reading his mind? How does that yeah. work? Projecting it somehow. Well, that's unfair. Projecting. Should have thought about Grandma's titties. You would have left Earth. It's only rated R. <laughs> we can't go that far. <laughs> he said he'll fight with us? More or less. <clears throat> he did not. <laughs> more, more or less. less. Probably more or less. He said no. He said no. He said no. <laughs> Certified genius, Mrs. Stone. Dr. Stone. Mrs. Stone. Isn't that name of an anime? But that doesn't mean he can hack Dr. into Stone. a system to change his friend's grades. Oh, he hacked the systems? So is family. Aww. She's there. Don't see Silas. Nope. Oh, it doesn't say reserve for reserve damage. Reserve for damage. How do I know who it is? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> With everything I know you can do today, I can't wait to see what you can be tomorrow. <sighs> Ugh. Okay. Different type of accident. Yeah. I'm sorry. <sighs> Whoa. Oh. <clears throat> what a shot. No firewall <coughs> can stop you. No encryption can defy you. We're all at your mercy, Vic. 
that will bend without effort to your will. Hmm. I feel like it's already more than we got before the cyborg. Like a million yeah. percent. Its entire nuclear Whoa, this? arsenal you could launch with a thought. It's like a visualization of his power. Jesus. Wow. Stealth mode for him, though. It's kind of lit up like a Christmas tree. Whoa! Oh, man. That's cool. Really interesting visualization in his mind. Yeah. She's been changed the box. Kicked out because of rent. Damn. Jesus. He won. Listen to the father part now. <clears throat> huh. Let's see. As I talk to my father, who's still in prison for the murder of my mother, which he didn't commit. Yeah, how did I get interested in criminal justice? I can't remember. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> this path has clearly chosen me, Dad. You can be whatever you want to be. You're brilliant, man. Absolute best of the best. <laughs> Reminds me of Ninja Turtles for some reason. Oh yeah, <laughs> I, get, I get that. This is a person who looks exactly like me, but who is definitely not me. Somebody, I don't know, <laughs> hippie, long hair. What's this? My special skills include uh, viola, uh, web design, fluent in sign language, gorilla sign language, silica-based, and quartz okay. fabric. It's not me. <laughs> what? <laughs> By putting together a team, people with special abilities. You see, I believe enemies are coming. Stop right there. I'm in. <laughs> you are? Just like that. Yeah. I... What are your superpowers again? I'm rich. <laughs> <laughs> uh, whoa! What? Uh, There's not really a better answer than that. You know? Dude, those, uh, that car is... That car is ridiculous! Batman would just smirk, though. Here, yeah, let me show you. We borrowed this from the Kryptonian scout ship. Huh. <laughs> Kryptonian gun. Well, maybe you should... Did it absorb it, or...? See how that... A gauntlet that captures and dissipates energy. Okay, cool. It's Master Wayne's idea. Something oh. is not working. Mm. Is Victor doing this on purpose, or is he like a firewall? Yeah, yeah, it's on purpose. I say it's on purpose. Dude. Whoa. Dude! What up? What's up? And if you ask to meet me, you're working on it, too. Well, that went well. Oh, man, his own grave. Yeah. He's putting oh, is he burying the mother box in his grave? Interesting. Oh, so do what man did before. Why would you worse. open the back? Let's keep it. That's a good bag, Calvin. We gotta use it for other stuff later. He left it in the bag. Calvin, shut up. <laughs> He's right. <laughs> Why would he open the bag then leave it in the bag? Let's make sure we knew what was going on. I guess. Uh, Calvin, shut up. <laughs> That's the Zack Snyder. What if Parody shows up right now? I know. It might still be here. First, I thought that lamp back there that was hanging. I keep waiting for it to go to a window and. Ah, oh, there it is! It is! Found it. Commissioner Gordon? Aha! Aha! Any messages? What? Not my tempo! <laughs> <laughs> you must be Barry. I'm Diana. Hi, Barry. I'm Diana. That's not right. 
Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is us. Oh, that's your signal. That means we have to go now. Yeah, that's that's what that means. It's so cool. <laughs> 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 in the water. And oh! Blood trail. Jesus! We the sharks? Oh! What you doing? Did you pull the water out of him? Oh my oh. god! Bloodbending! Fuck, it was bloodbending! That was something. <laughs> Jesus! I don't, I don't remember that. So good swimming. <laughs> yeah, he's swimming. He's like flying in the water. <laughs> Look at him. Oh. Mm. Oh, already got right punched for that to do that in right underwater. Jesus. This is was this a special metal? Was this just some metal that was here that they're just using? I think they brought it with them. Oh, no. oh not more. again. Jesus. Going more up. Yeah. Jesus. Making a fortress. Is this like the uh Whoa. Look how good that looks. Ah <laughs> oh, man, it looks good. He's only like a grim reaper. -na 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 -na. Is he coming with us now? Because we're not all gonna fit in your car. I have something bigger. Transport. Do you really think that Oh my gosh! They, just, they really just vanished. She's the only one. Huh? Oh. That's rude. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't think you were real. I'm real when it's useful. I love the way his cape fans out. I know. It's the, one of the best bass suits ever made. I will die before I tell you. You'll die if you don't. No! Shit. Shit. Ugh. Is that the plan? It is now. All the Amazon stuff has like that kind of vocal like thing in the beginning. Mm -hmm. They use it. Like how? No, you are. Ah! With a theme. Hell yeah, Diana. <laughs> <laughs> Crushing works too. He's got those gauntlets. Yeah. That's great. He's <laughs> <laughs> hiding in the corner. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, roundhouse. Swayze, baby. Splat. He had wings. The fool. Oh, man. Oh, that camera moved. Yeah, cool. it was. Uh-oh. Jesus. What's he doing? Moving on the rocks? Holy shit! Kicking and punching the rocks out of the way. That was a visual, man. What's this one? Leave the crab alone! Still wish it was yellow lightning. But it's... I, I love this already. In terms of what it used to be. <laughs> just slowly crabs it. <laughs> I'd be worried that she wouldn't. Oh! Oh! You okay? <laughs> Wasn't sure you'd come. You're my father. <laughs> right itself. Relax, Alfred. I'll take it from here. Uh, do, do I know you? <laughs> what are we under right now? Gotham Harbor. Here we go. 
<laughs> Hell yeah, it is. <laughs> He's riding the tide. Gotta go. Get in my crab. Come on. You need to get so much more time. <laughs> and you stern. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Like what Darkseid did. Yeah. It is here. On this world. I mentioned something about a secret before. Yeah, I don't know. Is it? I see a mega symbol. The anti life point. That's like the same thing oh, I think. Oh, you could be right, Rick. Yeah. He took the mother box from Atlantis. All he needs now is the lost box of men. If he doesn't already have it, he doesn't. He doesn't have it. For the ultimate weapon, the anti life equation. Yeah. The key to controlling all life and all will throughout the multiverse. Here he comes. The man? Ooh. Metal Dark Side. <laughs> <laughs> My lord, I am but your humble servant, and all of existence shall be mine. I wonder who's voicing him. I don't know. The Nazis found the box. Oh, oh that makes sense. War, cool, we get to know. Buried under an Italian monastery. He gets to be in it? Oh, that's the interesting. The it on its way to Hitler. He used that power to keep me alive. Turned into this. Particles of house become particles of smoke. Anybody with a match can turn a house to smoke. Put them on the box. Turn a smoke back into a house. Hmm. I know we're all thinking the same thing right now. The music. That's so good. Who's gonna say it? I'm <laughs> not gonna say it. The music's so good. Mm -hmm. Oh fuck! I'm real hyped right now, and I've seen this movie, goddamn. Man, that part really fucking got me. There is something you can do for me, honey. Come back to the living. We're lost, Superman. I can't lose Lois Lane, too. No fucking way! No fucking way! What is he doing in It's this? Martian Manhunter! Why? No fucking way! What? Why you too, Lois? He was the, he, the, been the whole time? Has that motherfucker been Martian Manhunter the whole time? <laughs> Get back here, Eric! What? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me! Who's to say that he can defeat them? The mother box did. Victor's father activated a mother box more than a year ago when Superman was still alive. Mm -hmm. Didn't call out the step rule. None of the boxes did. Not until not until Superman died. It knew. This is the only way. There are six, not five. There's no us without him. <laughs> There's seven. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe it. What? Oh, thank god you talk. <laughs> Whew, okay, uh, that's what we're watching for uh, the second video here, and we'll finish up the movie in the next one, but uh, I need, I, I definitely need to pause, man. What? They have Martian Manhunter! I take it he wasn't in the last one? No! <laughs> you think you're getting that, that motherfucker has- Not in the first one. That, mo that actor has been there since He's, Man of Steel! Yes! That's been like the general dude or whatever that was in. He was in Man of Steel. And he was also in BBS. He was helping Lois with her like, yeah. storyline and stuff. Sure. What's his name? Um, and the character? Yeah. I, I don't want to look anything up because I don't want spoilers. So I'm not looking anything up. Like they must have cast him to be Martian Manhunter, right? Right. You have your he's a there, great. Right? He's great casting for Martian Manhunter. I just never. I can't believe it. And then they just cut Martian Manhunter out of the. Trilogy. Goddamn Joss Whedon. <laughs> I can't remember his name. I was going to see if I had it still written. Down. I'm assuming if I just look up Man of Steel General or something, right? 
I think he was a maybe he wasn't a general. I think he was. I think he was a, a colonel. He was General Swanwick, and the actor's name is Harry Lennox, who I've seen him in a lot of things before. Oh, That's yeah. pretty good casting for Martian Manhunter. Just never made that connection. Jesus. Well, there's no way to know. He could be anybody. <laughs> I haven't had my mind blown that hard well, in a long time. Especially because, like... You've seen this movie before. Yeah, yeah. five years ago. <laughs> and then before that, I saw BVS. And before that, I saw Man, Man of Steel. Steel. This is like... Mm. Holy shit. Nine years in the making? What is it? I can't believe it. I'm stunned. I, wonder how I did much... not know I was going to have this feeling today. <laughs> well, it's, it's interesting, too, because you're also... If, if the idea is that that character's been the same one this whole time. Yeah. And it's also someone who knows, you know, the, the Clark stuff, came yeah. in talking to Lois yeah. about things. Yeah. Like, they're familiar with all the things with that. It makes so much which sense. also kind of works with, you know, if it's if he's been Martian Manhunter, he has, like, maybe some mind telekinesis, not telekinesis, but mind reading kind of Mind reading abilities. Like it makes like, sense why he'd be the one that's, like, looking for alien stuff, you know? Sure. In the military. So, you no, know, like, we've watched Supergirl for how many years? And, like, anytime, like, a character's, like, eyes start turning red, you know? Yeah. I just, I went to that. Like, at first I thought, wait, this is a dark side thing. But then I was, like, uh, then I, like, went to a Super, Supergirl scene in my head. Being like, oh, no, it's Martian Manhunter. And I'm like, wait! It's Martian Manhunter! No, yeah, I mean, when his, oh. when his eyes first went up, I'm like, no, this isn't something that happened before. Like, yeah. I, I feel like I remember a scene where Lois and Martha talked. Because they needed some Lois stuff in there too. I don't remember that scene, honestly. Stuff. So no, I feel like this last part has been the most similar of parts that we've had of of the movie. Hmm. Like I feel like this, like the fight scene and stuff, felt very much the same that we had. Uh, the, there's been a few extra in things tossed in. Stuff. Yeah, the stuff with yeah. Gordon and stuff on the top, them saving the people and the flash time event, the giant night crawler, all that kind of stuff was like very much the same. Yeah, I, I think. Um, it, well, honestly, I, I think that we went from like ninety percent different to about. 60% different because yeah like the, the the beats and stuff are relatively the same but all the shot choices and a lot of the choreography is completely different mm, I don't think it's as different as you're thinking I, it, it, it to totally be, is man I mean shh, okay yeah I'm just saying if, if I, I, I don't have I don't have it yeah I know well, we can maybe do like a comparison say, yeah it is I can say no it's not but, but it's nothing to go off yeah with. I know like I I just remember a lot of the choreography from that scene you know especially like you know when I was researching some Man of Steel and BVS stuff, I was trying to watch some of this stuff again to get myself prepared for this. So I remember a lot of how that went. Like, you know, there's no like, you know, I've never been in a fight before. I just push people, you know, like there wasn't that. But like the the scene where he was doing all of those, you know, Flash was doing a lot of stuff. Very, it looks very different. Uh, some of, but the beats are relatively the same, but it's edited different and the choreography, especially Diana versus, uh, uh, the man. Steppenwolf? Steppenwolf. See, I feel like Extremely I remember different. a lot of that to be very similar, but a little longer than what it was. So, like, Longer sure. here? Yeah. yeah. That's what I feel yeah. like. I, 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 I guess without fight, actually comparison. But not like, like, it was, like, it wasn't the same fight, but there was, the exact same moments were in there that were in the other ones, but I feel like they like, like, feel like, had a longer fight than what they did before. But, I feel like 70% of it was cut out for the original release. But was, everything that I saw... Hmm. Like, I I feel like I recognize where it was in the original movie. Yeah, I wonder how big of a role Martian so much of it has from now on. Like, sure, that, I don't that know. Like, of Martian Manhunter is that the only thing you have, or do you have him more in the movie? Considering that we still have, you know, because like if that's it, like I can understand maybe cutting him out. Like, you know, I don't know what time they were shooting for mm -hmm. when this came out in theaters. Sure, I'm honestly predicting this last half or this ending of this movie I, I I know that that was changed the most in the Joss stuff was the ending so, so I'm really I mean, they have, back from they the have cube. as much left as the original release mm -hmm. so Superman like, coming back from the cube was the well, MacGuffin from the last one too. yes but not explained like that and certainly not in the fashion it was done it was for me like the reveal of what they're doing. Like they start the Superman ideal of hope before they say what they're going to do. Sure. So you realize it along with them as you're saying it. They're going to use the mother box to kickstart you know yeah. him. It was a pretty good scene. Like I don't want to oh. think about it too much. I get you. Like, but like you know, what's the afterlife situation in this world? Mm -hmm. Like 
can it bring back souls? Sure. Well, also, if you just go into Kryptonian history in the comics, like, when Superman died in the comics, he didn't really die. He goes into, like, this, yeah. like, ultra coma kind of right. thing, you know? So, I like assume in this... biology doesn't allow them yeah. to fully die. Yeah. Some but it's, shit. <laughs> yeah. But it's also, <laughs> like... bury him. Yeah. Like, what... Do they go to Hades because they're the gods? Or, you know, I don't know. So, sure. but I get you. I get what you mean. <sighs> but, yeah, that, uh... That scene gave me chills with the ideal to hope and like easy. the little hologram. Oh man, it was so good. Um, well, and um, I mean the Silas stuff was really good. The what? This, um, uh, the Silas. Oh and, yeah. Uh, cyborg stuff, mm -hmm. like like the flashbacks, all that. Yeah, I like the uh, like the mother box Nazi kind of thing. Like I like finding the ways of like giving him like his mind palace thing where mm -hmm. he is just him. That way you can have that actor just not have to be covered in a bunch of shit, you know, yeah. like, the and he can just, like, go through and walk through this environment and show you the history, because he can, he can go in and he can see all this stuff, yeah. he has the data, and he can just make it, like, yeah. in his data universe. Dude. Yeah, he can create a, a sandbox mm -hmm. for his own mind and yeah. his self-image of himself to walk around in. It's like how, yeah, you're right, like, how, it's, how much data there's in there, he has to, like, wrap his human mind around it, but he doesn't have a human mind anymore, yeah. you know? So he doesn't have to. I felt like for the little bit of time it had, it really established him as a character. Yeah. yeah. Like him looking at that girl. Which, <laughs> oh my god. That's exactly what I wanted because that's 100% not there in the original cut. Going no. back to part three with uh. the beloved mo mother, beloved son, like I feel like so much of that wasn't in the movie. Yeah. Like none of Cyborg stuff was really in there. Yeah. Like if you wanted the history of who he was and why he is who he is. I love the, I really like, um, Rick, you're talking about like with Silas and stuff, him listening to that. Like you still get the idea that he has a distaste for his father, mm -hmm. right? He doesn't, but he he'll listen to his like science mind, yeah, right? Sure. Like he appreciates his intelligence, but he, he doesn't care about him as a father, him. right? Yeah. So you get that from the message, but then you also get like this like explanation in a way of like here's what all you can do, which is basically anything you want, <laughs> you know, like anything. Well, digital. computers you can do. Yeah, any technological thing, it's at your whim. You can take currency and stuff, and it, and it's like. That, that idea of like it's up to you the challenge is what do you do with this power you know not not how hard will it be to use it but will you use it for good or not I also feel um, like he feels more powerful too he like does. just the sheer amount of what he can do like he if he if he could he could do anything he wanted terribly you know yeah it puts him on the level of the others yeah sure like there was a moment whenever he was coming back after helping save all the people and I'm like ah here come the big guns now you know because yeah. I'm like I feel like he's up there above like Flash and Batman as far as like yeah. what they can do and stuff. Like mm -hmm. Diana's pretty strong, but I feel like he's just start blasting shit. So there was a I moment mean, with the uh, the hacking of the money and stuff that in my mind I'm thinking about like, well, how does this go through? Does this cause problems? Does this do anything else? And yeah, they, like does the bank catch this and she's happy now? But yeah, like you can imagine he's like, you stole a hundred thousand dollars, get on the ground. She's like, no, you know. But well, yeah, like but, there's been cases of people having bank errors where like a company will deposit money in their business account and the teller will accidentally put it in the wrong account and this mm -hmm. person finds out and like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna spend all this money. Sure. And then the the court makes them pay all of it back and they're in prison for. Ten years, you know. So like, there's the other way too, where uh, an error has happened. Someone is a hundred thousand dollars in the negative, and yeah. the bank takes a year to fix it. Sure. So mm -hmm. I was just thinking about that initially when it was happening. Um, even though it was a nice moment, I really enjoyed it. And then as I thought about it a little bit more afterwards, I'm like, well, if he has control of all this data stuff, it's gonna have to be a human looking and realizing something versus like he could change anything he wants in the computer. Yeah, he could he, take. He fractions made it, of a penny from everybody that no one's going to notice. Like, sure, he made know? it a $100,000 prize, so yeah. she believes it didn't just show up out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. She won something. And then you put that information into, like, the data and whatnot, yeah. and it's going to take some higher-ups to, like, be like, wait a minute, I didn't do this, and then they have to actually yeah. go through and talk to everybody and figure it out, which is yeah. probably like, it less has likely to trickle to up well, and then come back down. Yeah, That's why I was so, saying, like, his sheer amount of power, how not overpowered he is, but, like, he could theoretically, you know, it's it's similar to, I don't mean to make a comparison to Marvel, but like Hulk, when he wishes everybody back, or he snaps everybody back, he's supposed to have thought, like, you know, like, and everyone's safe when they do it, you know? Like, he can't think of every situation in which he saved every single person, but he just, that was like part of it. I wonder if Cyborg's like, and no one will ever figure it out, 
like because he could like go in and write all the emails yeah he could write the emails he could find someone maybe like yeah. a bank manager that yeah. like just passed away or something oh they wrote an email before and as much technology as it is they're gonna be looking through the data of everything yeah. so if the data looks correct and someone's just like i don't know we had a, a special like yeah. giveaway prize and then you get an email it's just like, like yeah. oh, hey, there's the special email yeah. and you know it's also a hundred thousand dollars not a hundred million dollars yeah. sure yeah. it's not like he's breaking the economy and mm -hmm. it since it's electronic he just incepted that. He didn't have to transfer it from some other That's account. That's true. He could have just created it out have. of nothing. Could you imagine? And then when she gets it out of the ATM, it's just built. He just mined some Bitcoin. Yeah. Could you imagine if he like <laughs> just exactly. goes through and distributes the wealth from like all the super rich people, and then Bruce Wayne's like, "What the fuck? <laughs> Where'd my superpower go? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm not rich anymore." <laughs> yeah. Uh, man, I had two things that I did not expect to feel today. One was sheer and utter astonishment, surprise. The other one was genuine. That made me emotional. That woman, like yeah, getting no, at the ATM, nice. really like good. I legit, like, cried. I, I was, did not expect to feel that way today. I was feeling emotional leading up to the point. Yeah. When it got to the initial giving her money part, my mind started going into the does this work or is this going to screw her over more? And then I got past that part yeah. too. But the emotional part was already past. Oh, so man. I was moving on to other things. Gotcha. You, you, your mind went too quick, Aaron. But I do. I did like. They also established like, okay, he's a football player and all this stuff too, but then they're also like, look, he's a genius. He hacked his computer. He shouldn't be yeah. doing this shit, you know? And it's yeah. like, oh well, he hacked something way back then. Like both of his parents were extremely smart and well off yeah. and they educated. Were both doctors, and, and he yeah. did it to help them. Yeah. Like yeah. they were talking about like, what did you do to help the kids and stuff? Like, yeah. I was like, okay. Yeah. It gives them a little bit like, look, I have some some a foundation history of hacking computers and stuff. I also have some history of doing some good shit. Yeah. Like, what is important about him is his morality and the way that he helps people. The mother box stuff can kind of do the rest in terms of, like, figure out how to get $100,000. But it also helps that he's a smart kid, too, you know? Sure. So you guys are the experts. How do you guys feel about this Flash? Oh, okay. Oh, um, in terms of, like, a Flash iteration, I mean, I think it's it definitely works. I feel like this is a Barry Allen. Maybe, and this is a young Barry Allen. Yeah, this is like sure. a... Sure. Like a year one, like Barry Allen. I I love Grant Gustin as Flash and like what he's done with the character and stuff mm -hmm. too. Um, this one, as of right now, I feel a little bit better about him. And I don't know if like I'm trying to remember what all we had before. I like having like in this one, like his introduction to Batman was this, was it was the same thing. I like that Batman's like I'm gonna figure out what the hell he is and he just throws yeah. it. He knows he's gonna do something, you know. Yeah. But. Um, Remark wise and stuff, I like that he has kind of like that quirky nervousness, awkwardness thing about him because yeah. he's like this, he's, 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 he's an awkward kid, especially when he's younger, you know? Yeah. When he grows up and starts understanding his powers and gets a little better and he gets more confidence and stuff, it makes sense there. But as he, of right now, he's, he's always been quick, quick witted yeah. and kind of quirky at the same time. Quick talk. And, and yeah, yeah, he just kind of, you know, goes. Yeah, uh, I, I think like in terms of like remarks and snark, I mean, which I, I think are. Integral to the Flash, but not the most important bits. Like, I, I don't want much more. No. I think it's already at the point where I'm like, I, I like it now. I don't want to go too hard yeah. on it. Like, I think... Uh, like, I don't know if it would work as an entire series or TV series that way, you know? Yeah. But yeah. as a side character, I think it works. Also, they slide in there. Like, they have the Henry Allen stuff, the Nora Allen stuff that, you know, he's working on a criminal... Like, a lot of stuff in there with just a short amount of time. Yeah. Um, now, like, saying, saying some of that, like, Grant Gustin isn't as, like... It's not quite as comical, I don't think. No. Um, but I think it might be because of I think like. You have to. It's like when you have uh, when you have those group up things, right? Like, Grant Gustin's Flash is the most Flash like when they do like a big crossover. Event. Yes. And I feel like that's kind of like what this is. Agreed. Like we want to try to capture like that quirky, quick talking, you know, snarky Flash, mm -hmm. versus like when you have like a long going series yeah. and like that too. You got to have a little bit more seriousness in there too. Got to ground himself. Yeah. And even though sometimes they still do, yeah. but so yeah, save those moments for when it counts a lot. More. Yeah, like there's some moments and stuff that I really like in this so far, and I I like the way they've used the speed. Mm -hmm. There was that one cool part that was like him dodging all of the the guys shooting at him and stuff, which like it's a very kind of cartoony aspect of it. Yeah, but he has super speed, so it works, it works too. You know, like yeah. Bugs Bunny would be like, oh, ah, ee, ah, you know, like doing that kind of stuff. I mean, but, I honestly didn't like a lot of the Flash stuff from the last version of this movie because they kind of went with this like underwater goofy run thing which hasn't happened yet it might still win this last half of the movie but I was sold when he ran out of his shoes 
<laughs> yeah. That shot, shot was awesome. When he turned on the balls of his yeah. feet, Dude, his shoes again, just ripped open. I didn't love the music choice for the moment, you know? Yeah, I think there's sure. some still some weird music choices, but like the push through the glass and the way the glass like just broke, bubbled over. out, like yeah. it, it feels real. It doesn't feel like you know just uh, what you would think glass would do. It, it feels like, oh, I didn't know glass would do that. It's like you went to the slow-mo guys and they're like, hey, you know glass does this? That's how I felt. I will say during that scene, the one thing that kept going through my mind was like, if 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 Iris was actually in this accident, I feel like she'd be screaming. Yeah. And then I was like, but now there's all these hot dogs flying around. Like it gets more dangerous. <laughs> there was I a moment. I was like, <laughs> there was a moment where I like she's in there, he's like running, and then there's hot dogs, and he's staring at it, and I'm like, I don't know what the fuck Zack what is Snyder's going doing. What's he doing with it? I have no idea what he's about to do. <laughs> and I was and confused. I, was, I, was and I gotta say, worried when I doubted the man for the hot dog. <laughs> I doubted the man in that moment. I'm like, wait, maybe I'm maybe I'm not in. And then of course he's getting it for the dogs. Yeah. Uh, While that was happening, I was just thinking, man, he could really like creep on so many women. Uh huh. It was a little like that's one thing. One thing so far that you I'm not sure man about, right? Like, about that. Iris wasn't in the original one, and I'm assuming that must be Iris that they're going for there, right? Mm-hmm. But we don't have any history on them. It seems like they just. Locked eyes at the at the dog store. It wasn't yeah. like, a, oh hey Barry, yeah. hey Iris, how are you, or anything like that. No. So, it, it was it was a little weird because I felt like there was no history. Mm-hmm. Maybe if there was history, it wouldn't have been as weird of him like being like moving her hair to the side, like yeah. while she's like, ah, you know, like, <laughs> I'm gonna die, <laughs> save me. Yeah. So like that that was that was a weird kind of creepy ish moment. Agreed. But, yeah. I don't know. But also he's a. You know, he's he's socially distant, doesn't have a lot of connection. He's a creep, you know? Yeah. I did kind of like his little, like, it felt flashy when he was trying to do the resume thing. Yeah. You know, and he's like, oh, French, you know, resume. And he's, like, going through, he's like, oh, man, the pocket monster ate my yeah. paper. But, you know, like, he kind of just had these things yeah. that were just kind of going. And that everybody, felt flashy. everybody can relate to the when he first saw Diana Prince. <laughs> Hi, Barry, I'm Diana. Hi, Barry, I'm Diana. <laughs> Everyone would do that. Wait, that was right. <laughs> I would call myself Barry. I did like that scene, but I wish they hadn't have used two car accidents, mm-hmm. like back to back, because it was in like his yes. sort of backstory, and then it was also yeah. in. I get what you mean. Like Silas and the cyborg backstory. Yeah. Like uh, I feel like it would have been more impactful the cyborg one if mm-hmm. you hadn't have had the Flash one. Before. Yeah, I've seen a lot of versions of a cyborg, you know, uh, backstory, and some of them he's <coughs> responsible for an explosion, you know, or not. Sure. But it's more to do with the mother box or the cyborg sometimes stuff. Sometimes it's more labby. Sometimes it's sometimes less labby. Sometimes it's a car accident. Yeah. That car accident with Iris. She was going like ten miles an hour, and that car crashed like she was going a hundred miles an hour. <laughs> Like she, she drove past five yeah. windows of that of that pet walking yeah. store or whatever it was, and suddenly the car was. Tachyons, Calvin. No. Tachyons. She had just started accelerating. He never touched the car. The what? She had just started accelerating after the stoplight because she was at the stoplight and it changed and she just started accelerating, right? I mean, she was she was parked there. She was having trouble starting her car and everything, and then she pulled out just as the light turned green. And the truck was going by. Yeah. And the truck was going 10 miles an hour, too! The, that, that guy getting his hamburger. And then after he crashes, like, he came up, he's like... Like, what happened kind of thing? Yeah. I was waiting for him to be like... <laughs> he gets <it> again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um. Oh, so... I don't understand... Like, how did Darkseid and his army forget that... Antimatter thing was here. They must not just not. They just go to planets and attack, and they don't know where they are. I guess after thousands of years and loss of know. shit, it's been, they just it's don't been know 5, where it is. Five thousand years, Earth years, since he was mortally wounded and unconscious when his soldiers, who are probably dead by now, and he's gotten new pair of demons from other planets. Yeah, you need to keep. And they probably had conquests sure. like three planets that day i mean it may be he said he's destroyed hundred thousand planets looking for this thing he might not be going to planets being like like they're so like insignificant like he doesn't care where they are yeah, what they're sure. called or I any just of think that he, like, he wouldn't have note. bookmarked it <laughs> maybe like, he, he knew what it was part of it may also be like how they travel did, they may have an issue with it but i don't know did they confirm that like 
they knew it was there a thousand years ago? Yeah, he said he's been looking for it ever since. Yeah. Okay. And well, I was like, well, why did you forget? Yeah. If, like, sure, you know, maybe he was wounded and he has amnesia, but he had a whole army with him. Like, what it felt like is that he used it and that he was going to activate it mm-hmm. or that he brought it there maybe, but yeah. then, like, they got retreated because of everything going on and then it got left. Yeah. Like, did he have it know. before Earth and because he lost and left the the mother box is there and lost all record apparently of him ever being there like in my head canon I like to think that because he's like their god and he can't fail it's like North Korea and that they just erase yeah like the event and it just never happened you know <laughs> like he always gets a hole in one he doesn't poop yeah so like he wakes up from being fixed or whatever and they're like what happened it's like oh you just had a nap my lord oh. yes I did didn't we go to war did. we didn't go to war today sir oh okay <laughs> Well, yeah, and you know, I mean, it is kind of like a religious cult following. The parademons themselves are like mindless drones. Yeah, so yeah. they wouldn't have the uh, the, the mystics were killed, right? The mystics, yeah, they were all like shot. all of his like people around him weren't he they? Didn't have to kill. And it also might have been too. Maybe the mother boxes is what kept the information of like where it was. And since they lost the mystics and the mother boxes there, they didn't know exactly where they were yeah. or how to get there. And now that the mother boxes summoned them back, like. Maybe he didn't realize what planet necessarily it was on. Yeah. He didn't know if the mother boxes were still there or Earth or I don't it know. It could just be like it's a sheer amount of numbers. Like if I like give you like, you know uh, if I give you like a you know, four by four thing of sand and say one of these grains of sand is worth a million dollars and I go, find it. <laughs> you know? Sure. You're like, oh fuck. Fuck. It takes a while to find. The other thing too is they mentioned multiverse. Possibly he knew it was Earth, but maybe he didn't know which Which Earth, Earth universe maybe. is Earth. That's yeah, a good it, point. It just seems like they've done a good job of explaining things I feel mm-hmm. like I just feel like that's one they maybe should have explained yeah. a little more maybe. which maybe they, they will that's true you know what they needed to explain then if that's if the head cannon you have it works is like this giant cut like what's what's this you, know, <laughs> you cut yourself shaving my lord you know like what do you what do you say to that <laughs> this is it. That, that thing was huge from Aries Rick did you know who played Jim Gordon um, no. Yeah. Not until I saw it here. I forgot until I saw it here. <laughs> well, I saw his name in the opening credits. Oh, did you? Who he plays. Oh, okay, gotcha. Hmm. He's Perry. <laughs> Rick, Rick Reed. Rick Reed stuff. No, I think the main two things that weren't in it is there was nothing before about Martian Manhunter. No. And there was nothing before about Anti-Life Equation. Uh, Iris really? wasn't in there it was at all. There was nothing about anti-life. No anti-life. There was no Dark Side. Well, there, there, there was no Dark Side. No there was no Dark Side. Though, I do really like what they do with, like, the Desaad, like, hologram kind of thing. You said how it's like kind of similar to like Krypton, which that had like a bunch of little balls. It like did, but it, it's, together and this stuff. is hot inside. But this is like, yeah, it's like a, it's like this metal turns into like a molten metal. Mm-hmm. And I love yeah. how it's like dripping yeah. like hot metal. Like when you effect. burn plastic or yeah, something. Yeah, it's really cool. Like the, the, the effect of what it looks yeah. like. And then like when Darkseid talks and you see like the hot fire in his mouth mm-hmm. and stuff coming out, like it's, it's just a neat design. Yeah. It's neat. Neat. No, I mean the uh, spider droid things weren't in the original. I don't remember that either. No. The yeah, gauntlets that, that ba- Batman has to absorb, I don't remember that ever being utilized. And he utilized it a lot. And yeah, I feel like every scene where he got shot and blocked it yeah. in the scene in the tunnels didn't happen to me. Really. No, it didn't happen. Because I don't remember that happening. I remember the moment of him going to calling the Nightcrawler mm-hmm. from Alfred and stuff. So, like, that part there seemed familiar. And I feel like he was blocking stuff there, but I don't really know. Or maybe he was just, I don't know. Like, I, don't, I remember the scene where he gets he up had close a, when they first, like, surprise. Mm-hmm. Uh, Steppenwolf, and he's like doing the hand to hand thing and, and gets thrown. Yeah, and I, loses it. I, I think I remember him losing his like grapple gun. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I don't believe that was in the original. I know that he used a gun a lot in the original in that scene. He had a gun yeah, like the whole time. Just a fire. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So it was always weird having Batman different. fighting with guns because he did that in BVS too, mm-hmm. where he like was standing there like, all right, let's do this, you know? Yeah. It's like, well, that's a weird look. I know. It's a uh, weird moment to have to take for granted for your audience agreed sure and then all star lab stuff had, was cut and ryan Choi was cut and he had the best line in the movie so far the, He's hot, talking, yeah. the hottest thing on earth i said that to my girlfriend she still broke up with me <laughs> my prom date yeah i yeah. can't believe they cut that but man martian man Blew my mind, and we're not done. I will say, uh, I'm actually enjoying this a lot more than I thought I was going to. I still think that this would be better done 
the pace suits more a like five episode or four episode miniseries Give as opposed a to a movie. It I is not yeah. pace for a movie, in, in my opinion. Sure. No. I was looking to see. Despite if, that, I'm enjoying it. I was looking to see if the mother box number had anything to do with anything. Not that I could. Because it was 6 1982. So I'm like, well, what happened in 1982 on like June 19th, you know? So I just don't know. 1982 in comics. What happened in 1982 in comics? Well, that's all of the year. That doesn't help me. I need this specific <laughs> day. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe there's something. We'll see. You, the comic strip of Garfield that came out, but that doesn't help. That's it. Garfield. That's it. Lasagna. Yeah, but he wasn't created then. Yeah. Just like the comic strip of that day. No, Almost. so... Like, every time we take a break, I'm a little hesitant. It's like, man, I'm enjoying this. Yeah. Is it all going to fall off the rails? Yeah. <laughs> I kind of don't well, want to watch more. We haven't even had Henry Cavill. <laughs> or anything, no, no Superman. No, I mean, Other next, than that one, oh man, that was so good. The next thing they're looking at doing is the mother box, like Superman kind of idea here. So, yeah. which, is, which is similar to what Lex Luthor does in the previous movie with General Zod. He uses something to bring it back, but he didn't have the mother box with him. You know? Well, yeah, he no. used like the Genesis pod, mm -hmm. and then he used mm -hmm. like human blood, and so it's General not Zod. even within just this you know movie universe. It's not without precedent that they could do something like this. You know. Mm -hmm. Except then it was an abomination. This is like this thing is called the change machine. It is made for stuff like this. I like the way they describe it, like yeah. how like it can just take the particles and then like Flash talking about like oh like you can you know you can't just destroy particles they just turn into yeah. something else and. I mean it's equivalent exchange from Fluid Alchemist basically. Mm -hmm. Sure. It's I, yeah. I mean it, it's um, shoot. I can't remember. I just had it. Can't think of it. Emilio Escoves. The Genesis device from Star Trek. No, the the theory. The Maya it's like conservation of matter. Mm. That's what it is. Yeah. Like, like you matter. can't destroy an sure. atom of anything. You just convert it into a, another... An atom of something else. An atom yeah, of right? something else, yeah. yeah. Like I love Luckily, they didn't burn Superman. <laughs> well, then you just, I, I know, but all of that carbon would be gone. Or all of the everything but carbon would be gone. Like, could they? I don't know. Maybe they couldn't. I mean, You're right. If, if they used... The spear, they should be able to, right? Yeah. They just the spear. Yeah. I will say too, like spear! Rick was talking about, like the soul and how death works and stuff for, mm -hmm. especially for a Kryptonian. But there was a, in the very last shot of the BBS one that we watched too, or maybe close to the last one, is like you have like that the rising yeah, rocks. That, yeah, the, the stuff dirt. that kind of lifts a little mm -hmm. bit. Sure. And it's like, was well, that a Superman thing? Because you kind of see him do that when he's getting ready to fly yeah, and stuff, maybe. or or is it related to something else that's going on too? Yeah. So. Maybe is that, that him just standing there trying to like fly into his body like, yeah. ah, like maybe that ah. could also be like a hint towards like well he's not fully gone which yeah. I imagine yeah, is what I, they were going for with that. Yeah. yeah, I mean what Eric said like in the comics he he wasn't dead. Yeah. It was more like a super coma. It's yeah, like the it end like of X-Men 3. It was when, like a healing coma, yeah. When he wiggles the chest piece. Mm -hmm. It's as close to a person like Superman could to die. That's as close as he can get. Right? Is what the idea is. I don't know. He's super overpowered. Zod died. He did. Twice, kind of. Yeah. Yeah, but that's because <laughs> Superman snapped his yeah. neck. Anyway, I also, I don't remember if it was in the theatrical or not, but Flash saying that he knows Gorilla Sign Language. I'm yeah. just mad that I changed my shirt mid-video. I had grad then, now I have this. There's no fucking Oliver Queen in here. I don't know why you Of course, I don't know. Maybe it would Yeah, you don't know. Now I don't know. <laughs> you don't know, Eric. I'm very interested to see if, like, if the Martian Manhunter thing is just a thing that shows up. Yeah. They didn't do any more filming for this, right? They just did more work on the editing and the. Uh, they absolutely did some new filming. Yeah, they did I do they new did. filming. I wonder if the general. It's like hundred thousand, hundred million dollars. <laughs> I wonder if the general thing was something they tossed in there, yeah, like, I don't know. extra afterwards, and if that's anything else that's coming in later, or if it's just kind of like, you know what, let's yeah. do this with this. Case. I was so shocked, I can't even, I couldn't even focus on what it looked like. I need to go back and look at it. I was just so shocked. He looked okay. He looked really cool. Um, he was a, honestly, he was like a better version of what we get out of Supergirl. Yeah. Like he looked a lot like what that Supergirl one, the, like the black suited one. And right? the X, did he with have like the, the X? With the red X? Yeah. He yeah, looked like he that. He looked like the black suited like Martian Manhunter from Supergirl. It's it's sort of a um, muted version. Yeah. yeah, but it had like a better, ver it had like a better look to it, I think, overall. It wasn't like Young Justice with the, like the dark blue suit and the big red like bandoliers that he wears. No, it was like, like the black, like you remember the yeah. black like, John Jones outfit they have in yeah. there, very similar to that. I remember it when this like Piccolo from BBZ. <gasps> oh, more than really? Piccolo, more than Piccolo did in <laughs> Dragon Ball Evolution. <laughs> okay, I see. I remember like there being like marketing material before the movie came out when Zack Snyder was still attached, 
uh, and he had like posters called like Unite the Seven. But ever, ever since then, I'm like, well, there's fucking six. That doesn't make any sense. But I guess maybe that could be the seventh. You know, I don't know. Maybe. And in this the seven continents. In this part here too, we maybe <laughs> <laughs> they had the line too of like there's six of us, not five. Yeah. You know, like. I know. Maybe he doesn't know. This I, don't know. You know I don't know. That's pretty. I, it makes sense. No one, not even Lex Luthor, has a beat on him. You know. Sure. Yeah. He's not uh, of this world. Yeah. All right. Be any. Well, not those. It'd be interesting to see if they bring that in, and that's more than just like, you know, is that more of like a Ryan Choi kind of thing, where it's like, hey, here's a way that we can go with something yeah. new introduced, or is that more of like, here's another character we're going to introduce and bring in. But the good thing is, if this was a character they're going to bring in and introduce. You already kind of are familiar with that character, you are. Way, because that that general that has been in two movies that is a, means the same guy. Yeah, but, you know, like that's my favorite type of planting the seed, and then it hitting you over the head. Sure, you know when it grows. Oh my god! And then it gets chopped down in front of your eyes. Ah, uh, no, we still. <laughs> I mean, they did the same thing with that with like Supergirl. I feel like you know. Yeah. Where it's like, oh, what? Oh. Yeah, but this one took 15 years to hit me. <laughs> sure, I don't know how long sure. it's been, but it feels. Yeah, is Man of Steel that old? <laughs> I don't know. When did Man of Steel come out? I thought it was like 2008, 2009. I, I, yeah. Still a long time. Over 10 years. So that's a hell of a thing. It and came out if, after Iron Man, right? I believe. Because Iron Man was 2008. Yeah, I think so. I don't. I don't right? remember exactly. I thought Man of Steel was 11, but Pretty I, sure I'm I don't know. Yeah. I don't pay attention to movie dates. I don't go yep. to the theater. Well, my notes are like, oh no, 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 Martian Manhunter. <laughs> Eight periods. Yeah, I also want to look up and see Dark Side's voice at some point, but uh, we'll have to look at that over the break because we're going to be stopping this video, and then we'll have another video coming out for the, fin f the finale, the last episode of Zack Snyder's <laughs> Justice League. Uh, we'll be finishing that up, so please have some patience. Our editor is working so hard. Please, down in the chat, Ultra Sergeant is the editor that's working on this, and we thank him so much for using his entire day, slash night, slash next day, to finish this up yeah, for us, so you guys can get it as soon as possible. Major All right? props. Major props. See you later today. Major or props. Tomorrow. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you are enjoying this, which I imagine you are, make sure you subscribe so you make sure to get the next part that's going to be coming as soon as we can. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on it. And it may not be up right now, but as soon as we can, the full length will be available for this as well. You can watch along the entire thing with us down in the description to patreon.com slash blindwave. Check that one out too. Yes.